Hello, my name is Ellie Cantor. I'm with Bond Securecom. I'm the Business Development Director, and in this case, I'm helping to put together this video for this facility that we're about to tour. This is what I call the Fort Knox of the Green Gold. We have a cannabis processing facility uh, with two buildings. On one side that we've been already inside, it's an extraction facility and laboratory, and is fully like a food grade facility with it but the level of security is similar to a financial institution all the video surveillance systems cover every corner of the facility running on an archive system with a storm camera surveillance system on the front end all that is fully integrated with our access control system by ICT all the equipment together we were able to acquire from Inaxis, and with their support team, we're able to customize and manage the system to be meeting Canada health requirements for a cannabis facility. Now we're gonna go and have a look inside one facility, and then we'll go over to the other facility and take some further footage there. Part of the Health of Canada regulations make us put on these suits. This meets the regulations, just like the security system does. It's all part of the package. It's, the facility runs everything on dual authentications and control in all directions. So every activity, whether you're coming or going, is recorded and authenticated that it's actually the right person, not just a card. After you. We're now in a man trap. A man trap means one door must close before the other one is open. That'll prevent anybody from getting through from one to the other without having some control. So I've made shared a story. Um, one of our incidents we had is that our device here is a controller that controls the refrigeration and freezing of this unit. Right. Unfortunately, as being a controller that's physically here, it's very difficult for us offsite and also here at the office to actually do, uh, perform changes or controls onto the actual controller. Bond was able to actually install for us a data wire to connect to our system so that we have autonomy and uh, complete remote control of a refrigerator. So, and this also ties into the ICT system, I assume. That's right, yes. Correct. So I remember when that was actually done, um, installation was great. I was able to interface with any controller um, very good to actually make sure that the relays are connecting, um, universal language is speaking. So as I mentioned before, we we're actually able to not only just have security in terms of footage, but security for our product, security for our operations, and security as a whole entire facility. Amazing. No, oh, thank you. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm only just celebrating technology. Uh, is that, are we able to go have a look inside? Yes, uh, it's not that much. It's just a freezer. Currently, we're on the tail end of our processing uh, campaign. Come on, put it right over there, yes. Secured freezer. It's a bit cold, watch out, minus 22. So even in here, we have cameras in all four corners. So no matter which way you're looking, you got cameras. And the storm system is able to take the temperature in this freezer. It's already freezing my butt. Let's get out of here. This facility is run the same as any food processing facility with the same cleanliness requirements. Hygiene is at the utmost, right next to security. We can proceed this way. Uh, another thing that we also use bond security systems for too, on top of our entry and, uh, entry and uh, detection system for security, it's also connected to our um, extraction facility also. So if there's any issues with our extraction technicians, the bond security system is able to detect if actually a person is in peril or if they actually need assistance. We'll be able to actually immediately actually uh, discover any operators that are in need of any assistance. Uh, on top of that, multiple sensors to actually ensure that whenever we are in the facility, everyone knows you're present, the system actually knows you're there, and it's able to detect any anomalies whatsoever. Uh, this is the extraction facility here at the location. Um, I can show you some stuff for yourself if you want, just for some footage. You want to sure. come over here. So currently, this is actually some of our products. Uh, this is going to our customers here that's local in the, in the actual area. 
if you look in the ovens, we actually have some products right now under process. Yes, we also have some engineering qualifications performing here at the facility. So what is that? This is actually concentrated cannabis. So typically to produce this, you'll need about um, over hundreds of plants. The hundreds of plants then are actually compressed into a machine and then literally physically squeezed out of their oils. We capture the oils, we concentrate them, and then sell them for a high, uh, high value. Yeah, it has a lot of additional effects. And they're used for, I guess, uh, edibles? Correct. Uh, all sorts, all kind of consumption. But this will be the most purest form of the medicine you can actually obtain. Wow. Yes. So this is about 80 to 80 to 90 percent um, purity, where typically the raw flour is about maybe 20 to 30 percent purity. So I guess that would be the next step. That would be our white gold. Yes. <laughs> but as you can see here, we have lots of very valuable product. I mean, you make sure that we're actually not just actually keeping secure, but we can always keep our eyes on it too. Of course. So once again, we have <clears throat> our very powerful motion detector that's tied into the intrusion system of the ICT platform. We've got cameras on all four corners. We have the monitoring of all the temperatures of the freezers, the heaters, full environmental control, all out of one system. Actually, if you want to join me over in this area, I'd like to actually show you another camera system that's very difficult to install and Bond was actually able to incorporate to our security system. Due to because this is actually a C1D1 area, uh, there are explosives stored in here. So to avoid any inadvertent explosions, we'll keep all the electronics behind this perimeter. But I would love to show you, if you peek your eyes over there, there's a camera. That's a C1D1 camera, and not oh, yes. anyone can actually perform that installation. Right, that's the explosion-proof camera. I'm going to open it. It does door. not mean that it doesn't get damaged in an explosion. It means it can be in an area right that yes. is high explosive gases and will not create an explosion. It is a, what we call an explosion-proof camera. And it's also tied into the storm and archive servers for full control of what's going on in this room. Okay, we can proceed to the other room. I just show you other features we have. We have additional monitors. Uh, we can also show you the double entry system for in terms of entering our secure storage. If you may, please. It's got push and pull, yeah, if you don't mind. Let's see. Ah, uh, this looks good. So we'll go into this room where we'll actually, we'll have like, you'll see half of the secure storage, you'll see half of our warehouse. If you look above, we have the 360 fisheye for the storm. Keep going that way. As you can see, the alarm system actually discourages any inadvertent access. All doors are actually reinforced, so there is no way to actually have uncontrolled access to any area. So I'd like to actually have you folks positioned over here. I want to show you that not only do we have monitors at the office, we have monitors also right here for the staff. What lends itself great to the increased security in this type of facility is the ability to see on the other side of the wall or any other side of the door. So before you enter an area, before you open the door to somebody, you have full control and visibility of what's on the other side. In many places around the facility, we have monitors that are able to show us whatever camera we choose as being important for where we are located. In this, before we enter this controlled area, we can have a look at what's going on inside, make sure that everything is under control in there before we enter. We have the card readers with pin pads everywhere on every door and each area is automatically monitored for make sure that all the regulations are met which personnel are allowed in there how many everything is fully controlled recorded behind us we see the monitor the monitor is giving the ability for the system to aid control the facility all the footage is stored for several years Carl here can tell us more about it. The platform that we're running on, when we designed this, we partnered with Anaxis, and we chose several of the systems that Anaxis was able to provide for us. We got their ICT system to do the, all the access control, ULC alarm monitoring, as well as full integration to the storm and archive systems. Behind us, we see an archive monitor 
that Carl has the ability to control. What do you think of the system, Carl? The system is very useful and very great. We're actually able to retrieve footage for up to three years as required by the Canadian regulations for cannabis licensing and processing. Also, with the fact that the bond security system is able to interface with multiple devices here at our extraction facility, it's very useful to also provide to us the site, the security, and the information we need to actually run a facility 24-7. We have cameras all around. The walls are fully protected, as well as the ceiling with seismic detectors. Everything is tied into one system, fully integrated. Goes with multiple paths of communications to the monitoring facility that can dispatch police, guards, and alert everybody that's required. The system runs on the ICT that's in these cabinets in the background. And inside, we have our modular GX platform that is able through the servers to fully integrate the video surveillance and the access control of intrusion using the cannabis facility customized software that ICT is able to provide. Here we have our IP switches, the servers for all the cameras and access control and all our UPS for power backup, providing all the required uptime and make sure that there is no failure even when there is a power failure. So similar to the extraction facility, the distribution facility runs on the same platforms. We have Archive as the main surveillance system that monitors all the cameras and the full integration with the ICC platform. We have our storm cameras throughout the facility covering every corner of the building. And we have our access control system, which allows us to have dual authentication. One must provide a card and a pin before being able to enter or exit the facility. All the doors have request to exit motion detectors and a sounder. So if any unauthorized exit occurs, the alarm will go off and everybody is notified and aware of it because the noise is audible. So now that we're all geared up and ready for anything, we're gonna go inside the facility. We have our sounders everywhere. Our monitors to allow us to view what's happening outside the facility as well as inside the facility, located in different locations around the facility. And each area that you're going into, you have to authenticate, double authenticate, and each area has a separate partition and can be armed and monitored individually. Let's go in here. Here we are in part of the distribution facility. And what's inside these? That's finished product right in there. Ready to go to retail stores. Wow, green gold. Green gold indeed. Wow, look at how many bricks of gold we have here. This is our not vault facility, but is protected. We have seismic detectors around the perimeter walls. Everything is secured with multiple angles of motion detectors, cameras everywhere, full access control and presence detection. Let's go outside and have a look at the other part of the facility. A full blown vault, just like you would find in a bank. Again, reinforced, designed and built as a level 10 Health Canada approved vault on the same level as you would if you were really storing gold. So here we are at the entrance to the vault and we're in between the different storage and processing facilities. And as I was saying before, we got cameras everywhere. If you look that way, fully controlled with sounders if anybody exits with or enters without authorization. We've got our motion detector there. On the opposite side, we have cameras covering every direction and controlling every movement inside this area. And because it's a vault, we're able to see and control the motion 
all around. It's just like a, a moat around the castle. We have our tunnel around the vault. So to get into this, you gotta go through one wall and then you gotta go through another wall. And you gotta go through multiple layers of seismic sensors that'll detect any drilling, any heat. Everything is fully controlled and surveyed, all tied into our ULC ICT system. In a moment, we're gonna get access into the vault. We're gonna have a look inside and we'll see the different layers, just like an onion. There are lots of layers of security to make sure that nobody can get inside. Here we go. So let's come inside our vault. And here, this is constructed to meet all the requirements of a level 10 vault. You got cameras system, the entire system is inside the vault. So you cannot get at it until you get inside. To get inside, everything, all the locations, it's got sensors, every wall has got sensors, monitoring any penetration attempt and will automatically notify authorities the minute somebody even just starts anything on the exterior. Here, we're able to survey with our 360 fisheye cameras every inch of the facility, whether it's in the middle, outside, nobody can help themselves to any of the gold in here. And we got our intercom in case somebody is trapped or there is a problem, they can communicate, they can set off a panic alarm, everything tied into one system, one pane of glass to control everything. Now we're gonna walk into the warehouse, go through the same level of controlled security. We can see what's happening on the other side of the wall, so we're now walking into a bad scenario. And as we enter, we have our shipping receiving doors which is inside a protected compound. The compound has perimeter fencing all around, video surveillance with analytics all around, as well as fence protection all around. And again in here, every corner of the place is covered with cameras and motion detectors. Everything tied in together to provide another part of the peel of the onion. Every time the door is open, anytime anybody goes through, everything is recorded into the event log. How long was it open for? Who was it? As well as all the video images of everything going around. And here on the outside, we have our secured gate. We have our cameras all over the building, monitoring the rooftops, as well as the sides. And we have our fence protection with our microfiber along the fence to prevent anybody from cutting or climbing the fence. We're now going to enter another one of the production facilities. This is where some of the product comes in its raw form and repackaged and prepared for shipment to go elsewhere. Part of this facility, again, everything is controlled, the temperature, humidity, video surveillance, intrusion, access control, fire protection, everything fully contained in this room. So the heart of every facility is a server room where all the controls, all the recorders, all the switches are housed. Let's enter our facility here where we have our fully controlled security room protected as a separate security area with additional security again on the perimeter of the room. We have our access control system by ICT, which fully is an integrated intrusion access control and video management system all in one platform. We have our servers running the archive software and allowing management easy control of all the video images 
and there's a lot of them here with full power backup to keep everything alive during a power failure. In order to provide high level of security and communication, we have multiple internet providers as well as cellular backup. We have different paths of communications back to the monitoring station. And here we have our part of the control room where we have our telephone entry master intercom station and our video screens that are showing us part of the facility on this view and multiple views depending on what the operator requires in order to make everything easily accessible and video can easily be retrieved. It is a great help for our team that when they get here and encounter a problem that is difficult for them to resolve on their own, they're able to easily reach out to our colleagues at, in Access that provide us fantastic technical support. Fred has been a treasure. He's been working with us, whether it's a design requirement, a modification, a conversion of a system. We know that we have a partner that we can count on to help us get through the day. With a facility like this, it is sure very important to design a good solution that meets the high level of security requirements. But even more importantly, it is a service after the fact that allows a system to be maintained properly, upgraded on a regular basis, improved as the time goes on, re renewed to meet the latest versions of software and system capabilities. This is where we come in. We as a partner to this facility are providing them 24 seven with emergency support which helps them maintain their licenses with Government of Canada, and we're there to support them as a good partner. Bond Secure Comp can help you design a system and provide all the services required from A to Z. We're here to be your partner. Thank you.